Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and thank you for joining me for our first ever reaction to Chris Cornell. I'm Tom Toughnuts and I am proud to bring this to the channel. I'm slightly familiar with Chris Cornell, not from his anything solo by him, but more of way back in the day. It's been so long, like decades long of Soundgarden and Audio Slave. I uh, haven't heard them in so long, but I just remember they were huge when they were played on the radio, and that's the only time I really listened to them. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm faintly familiar with this guy's voice. Um, I don't know I don't know what it's going to sound like nowadays. Um, I do know that, unfortunately, Chris Cornell passed away a few years ago um, due to, you know, some some decisions uh, that were made, um, which is truly unfortunate, as well as to lose, you know, uh, the lead singer from Lincoln Park, Chester, uh, shortly after. And I know that made a huge impact in the music industry and really um, created a dark time. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I'm ready to react to a true talent here. Um, and this has been recommended quite a few times. And this is a cover from Prince. Not going to lie. I've heard the only Prince song I've ever heard in my life was Purple Rain. Because I feel like that's kind of like everybody knows that song. And if you don't, you're kind of lying to yourself. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know a lot about Prince. So more than likely, I've probably never heard this song. But it don't matter. I can always appreciate good music, even if I've never heard it before. So let's dive on in. But before we do, do me a favor. Feel free to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reaction, as well as it's a good way for me to let me to let me know that you guys enjoy this kind of music, let alone having Chris here on the channel. Um, and, you know, I, I would love to be able to react to this more, uh, depending on, you know, what this video does for us. But anyways, guys, let's dive on in. Chris Cornell, nothing compares to you. Let's check it out. <laughs> It's been seven hours and fifteen days. Just right off the bat, well, let me say two things. I am a huge fan of acoustic sessions like this, to where it's stripped down. It makes the song feel, well, not just the song, but the performance feel a lot more uh, emotional um, and just an incredible experience. Uh, cause it's the focus point is on the performance, the, the sing, the person singing, um, rather than just like, you know, a bunch of lights and the crowds going nuts and stuff like that. It's just all the attention, all your eyes are on this man here. So this already is pulling me in just because of that alone, but also the fact his voice right out of the gate. Wow. Like that's natural. That, that is Wow. <laughs> um, just absolutely beautiful, man. Um, let's just keep going. But damn, I love his voice already. Team day, since you took your love away. Take away these blues. 
Dude, I just can't get over his vocal ability. It's such a shame that this man had passed. Um, in my opinion, just the minute and a half we've gone through and just slightly remembering this voice from, you know, 15, 20 years ago when he was in uh, Audio Slave and Soundgarden. Uh, actually, man, it was probably before that. God, I'm old. Um, he's just got one of those most, like, the most, like, one of the most iconic voices out there. And it's effortless for him. Like, he's, it, there's no struggle with his vo- vocals at all. Um, he's so comfortable, at least from what I'm seeing, how he's playing, uh, just through his, his voice, his expression, his strum patterns. Like, this is just purely natural for him. Um, and extremely emotional. Uh, and these are these, in my opinion, are always the best performances when uh, when you could move somebody through through a song, let alone through a cover, uh, which is truly incredible. But wow, we this is just it. It's it's so sad to think about what had happened to him, and to to come years later and to hear this from him. It's like listening to a ghost. But like the soulfulness of his voice is just, it's overwhelming. Nothing can take away these blues. There's nothing compared. Nothing compared to you. It's been so lonely without you. Stop these lonely tears from falling. Tell me, where did I go wrong? I can put my arms around any girl I choose, but it just reminds. I feel like listening to this song, it takes every ounce of yourself to not break down. Um, through the meaning of the song, how it's played, and how he is singing it, that voice. To lose that voice in Chester's voice all within the same year is I it is a true, true shame. And the best we can do is to remember those voices. I mean, they made such an impact on people, our lives. Um This is easily 100%. We're not even done. One of the best performances I have ever freaking seen. Talent, emotional response. Hot damn. You know, most reactions, I'm like always like giddy and just like, let's go, baby. And this one's just, I can't get there because. It makes me sad, extremely, extremely sad to listen to this and just knowing the history of what happened, like, 
but I still love and respect this man and what he did. To you, Keaton Simons. Oops. Oop. Did not mean to click an ad there. Um, okay. I just want to uh, want to click it right at the right spot. Right there. That smirk right there. That 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 smile. You know, it's wild to think that, um, you know, somebody that, for me, I'm speaking, uh, I don't know Chris Cornell, not personally. I know little bits of him through his music. But for somebody to have that connection with their, with a viewer or a fan, just a person in general, to to be able to establish that connection with somebody to move them in such a way to create and um, find certain emotional responses from somebody is just, it's truly like, that's not something that you can just, you can't make it up. You can't fake it. It's a gift. And this man was a gift. That voice is a gift. There will not be another voice like that. There will be other great voices, but... That voice is gone. <laughs> but my God, that voice cannot be forgotten. Holy shit. Like I said, this is easily one of the best live performances I have ever heard in my life. Holy God. Um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy that performance just as much as I did. I'm sorry if, you know, if your spouse was cutting onions as well. It happens. <laughs> um... But yeah, please uh, thank thank you so much for thank you so much for your time and uh, 
feel free to like and subscribe on your way out. I would love to be able to go back and react to more Chris Cornell and just other recommendations you guys have. So um, until next time, guys, I'm Tom Toughnuts signing off. Take care of my friends. Be safe and goodbye.